this example 3 the author asks you to determine the continuity of the function given by this graph at x is equal to negative 1 so rest assured if you get the ideas right or if you follow the methods that we have discussed earlier by right you can do this question easily so let's try to find whether the function is defined at x is equal to negative 1 so in this case the function is actually defined at x is equal to negative 1 which is in this case is 0 and then what should we do right after this we have to show that the limit of the function based on the given graph when x approaching negative 1 exists so in this case we have to show that the limit of the function when x approaching negative 1 exists in order for the limit of the function when x approaching negative 1 exists you have to show that the limit of the function when x approaching negative 1 from the left is equal to the limit of the function when x approaching negative 1 from the right so according to what we have learned in the beginning of uh, this topic limit of the function when x approaching negative 1 from the left is equal to I'm going to use this green arrow so according to my understanding when x approaching negative 1 from the left it will give you value 2 meanwhile the limit ok let me change the color of my font back to black the limit of the function when x approaching negative 1 from the right let me use this red arrow so according to my understanding when x approaching negative 1 from the right the answer will give you 3 so in this case since limit of a function when x is equal to negative 1 is not equal to limit of the function when x approaching negative 1 from the right therefore limit does not exist so you don't have to prove for the third condition because the process has been halted at the second uh, condition which is you are able to show that the limit does not exist so in this case since the limit of the function when x approaching negative 1 does not exist then the function when uh, this continuous this continuous at x is equal to negative 1 so that's how you write the conclusion for this particular example now let's take a look at this example 4 where the question asks you to determine the continuity of the function based on the given graph at x is equal to 10 so just remember in order for the function to be continuous function so you should be able to show that the conditions are true for all three of them so in this case you have to show that whether the function is defined at x is equal to 10 according to our observations if you do remember all questions that we have discussed from one example to another basically when we try to refer to the graph the function is defined when we have closed circle this is what I meant by closed circle but if you happen to come across with example 4 which is indeed 
true, there is no closed circle in the given graph. Then, you can safely assume that the function is not defined at x is equal to 10. So, my next question to you, do you need to show the other conditions are true or not so in in your opinion do i need to show the rest of the conditions are true or i can leave it as it is so my my answer to you you don't have to show the other two conditions because it has violated the first um the first conditions hence you can simply say that since you can simply write down your conclusion since f when since the function at x is equal to 10 is not defined then the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 10 so that's how you answer this question example 4 which is quite easy compared to the other examples now let's put our attention to this example 5 where the author asks you to test whether the function fx is equal to x squared minus x over minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is continuous at x is equal to 1 according to the slide presentation the author provide the answer where he or she try to solve the problem by using analytical approach but what i'm trying to show over here is how we can use graphical approach to test whether the function is continuous or not at x is equal to 1 so right now what should we do is that we have to determine whether the function is defined at x is equal to 1 so the first step have to test whether the function is defined at x is equal to 1 so you substitute every x in the function with 1 so in this case i will have f1 is equal to 1 squared minus 1 minus 2 divided by 1 minus 2 and then i will have negative 2 divided by negative 1 which is 2 so according to what we have calculated over here the function is defined at x is equal to 1 which is the value is 2 and then we proceed with the second condition where we have to prove whether it exists or not such as the limit of the function at x is equal to um, not x equal to 1 as x approaches 1 so as mentioned earlier i'm going to answer the second condition by using uh, graphical method so in this case i have to do something with the function because if i try to sketch the function based on the original uh, expression uh, i cannot do that because it is very difficult to uh, sketch uh, but i will sh i am pretty sure that i can do something which is which i can somehow deduce the difficulty of the original expression into more uh, simple so in this case the function f of x is equal to x squared minus x minus 2 x minus 2 by factorizing the uh, numerator part so i know that i will have x minus 2 times x plus 1 divided by x minus 2 so there are common terms at numerator and denominator which is x minus 2 so i can cancel these two items 
then I will get x plus 1 so instead of uh, sketching x squared minus x mi minus 2 divided by x minus 2 I will sketch x plus 1 instead so according to the knowledge regarding function when I have y is equal to x plus 1 by right I know for sure that I will end up sketching a straight line so in this case you are interested in finding whether the function is, is continuous at x is equal to 1 so in this case when x is equal to 1 the value is over here is 2 so when x is equal to 2 because we have to consider several points in order for us to sketch the straight line so I will get 3 so it will be somewhere over here so this will be the straight line so that is the value when x is equal to 1 so according to what I have learned of, uh, previously this is the limit from the left this is the limit from the right and I can write with full confidence that the limit f of x when x approaching 1 from the left is equal to 2 and limit of the function when x approaching 1 from the right is also 2 since limit of the function at x approaching 1 from the left is equal to limit of the function as x approaching 1 from the right is equal to 2 therefore limit of the function when x approaching 1 exists and the value is indeed 2 right now what should I do I have to go and check for the third condition which is I have to show that limit of the function as x approaching 1 is equal to the value of the function when x is equal to 1 so since this is true since limit of the function when x approaching 1 is equal to the value of the function at x is equal to 1 then the function f of x is continuous at x is equal to 1 so this is very easy and I really hope you can grab the ideas to test whether the function is continuous or not alright so let's try and do some exercises right in this question yeah in this question uh, so let us discuss verbally the question uh, give to you several function in the same coordinate system so the question asks you to determine whether the function is continuous at x is equal to 2 so by looking at this function okay by looking at this function x is equal to 2 is the function continuous or is the function defined at x is equal to 2 in this particular question right x is equal to 2 yeah so f of x is equal to 2 is equal to 4 the first one so the second condition you have to show that limit exists so according to our observation the limit f of x when x approaching 2 is 2 right but we fail to show that the limit of the function when x approaching 2 is not equal to the value of the function at x is equal to 2 such that 2 obviously not equal to 4 then function f of x is 
discontinuous at x is equal to 2 alright so I really hope you can do a lot of exercises inside the tutorial for this particular week 2 so we can discuss from time to time so I wish you success and till we meet again in the next lesson bye